Welcome to Photo Escapes, a behind the scenes photography series featuring professional travel photographers Matthew William Zellis and John Alexander. We have two weeks in Kenya to film and photograph the incredible landscapes and diverse wildlife here. In this episode, we are in the breathtakingly beautiful El Karama Eco Lodge. You join us on our first day here as we search for game. So we're currently standing face to face with over a hundred buffalo. And we desperately chase the fleeting dramatic light at the end of the day. Check out this light behind me. It's just getting better and better. Can we stop, 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 please? Thank you. Oh my God, this is going to be absolutely epic. We're just off for our first game drive in El Karama, which is really, really exciting. Spotting wildlife in the Abadares was fairly challenging because it was so closed in. But here we can see much further, so hopefully spotting some of the wildlife will be a simpler task and much easier to get photographs and good video shots. This is where we're staying. The award-winning El Karama Lodge on El Karama Conservancy, in the heart of the most diverse habitat in Kenya. Positioned at 2,000 metres above sea level, it is located on a 14,000 acre working ranch, focusing on wildlife and habitat conservation. This inevitably attracts a huge variety of animals onto its fertile plains. The self-sustaining family-run lodge itself has been built from the ground up by Murray and Sophie Grant with amazing craftsmanship. Inspired by the local materials around them, they've created this wonderfully immersive and luxurious experience, completely in tune with the environment. Matt and I are here for four nights and are determined to cram in as much as possible to show you this incredible part of Kenya. So we're currently standing face to face with over a hundred buffalo. Which I'm not gonna lie, is very, very intimidating. There's just a hundred odd angry faces looking this way. But photographically, this is incredible. The light here at the moment is just amazing. When it's all back, you've got the orange sort of light coming from the back of their ears, which looks amazing. backlit scenes I'm going to try and force myself not to take those scenes every single time but they look so good
we had an hour spare in between our game drives. Just one of the activities that El Karama offers is catfish fishing. So we thought we'd give it a go. There was a small pond where Sophie showed us would be a good spot. Literally five minutes later, I caught my fish. So you, 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 underneath the, underneath the spikes? Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, John, come on. Sorry. Do you, I don't want to get spiked. How do you do it? Underneath or in front? Yeah. No, you've got Having carefully put mine back, it was Matt's turn to catch one. Probably yeah. the same one. Probably no. the same one you got, John. No, no, no. Only the one that Matt is <laughs> <laughs> Having completed fishing, and this being a photography show, we swapped our rods for cameras and hopped into the car for our afternoon game drive. We encountered some amazing animals. But as a photographer, what you really want is to capture these animals in some dramatic light. So we were really excited to see what light we would get as the sun made its way towards the horizon. As you can see behind me, the light is fading pretty fast now. So we're gonna try and head up to this other hill, which hopefully will get the last bit of light so we can make the most out of this evening's drive. Hopefully, We'll find some more game. Come on. Leopard, 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 leopard. Lion, lion, lion. Elephant, mongoose, impala, oryx. Really don't care, just want to find an animal. A few moments later, we got our answer. What? Elephant? Okay, we've just spotted some elephants up on the ridge. Can we stop here? Can we stop, 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 please? Thank you. Oh my God, this is going to be absolutely epic. So unfortunately, the sun's just gone behind the clouds. Fingers crossed it comes back out, although it does look quite unlikely because this shot, when it had that warm golden evening light was just, I mean, it couldn't have been any better. And I was waiting for the shapes to be as defined as possible. So when their trunks were just curled up a little bit, not when they were kind of bunched against their body, just to really give you that elephant shape. <laughs> so good. This is just perfect. As the light faded after that frantic elephant sighting, we chatted about how our first day went. Did you get any good shots? Um, I don't know. Everything happened quite quickly, didn't it? Because we are filming and photographing, so... It does make life very different. Yeah, so you have to sort of decide whether you want to have that as a photograph or a film. This is... Okay, I just need... So I need Currently to that. that. So you're quickly changing the ND, you're changing the shutter speed, you're changing all the settings. It's pretty stressy actually, but I think we got some pretty good ones, especially that elephant shot. And I reckon those buffalo shots are going to be quite good as well. I think that buffalo scene was just awesome. We had backlight in one direction, yeah. side light in another direction, good sky, we had a bit of flies time. around their heads. It was, it was really, really good. I think also that um, because I was videoing in super slow-mo then you had all the like back lights of the of their ears and stuff and all the flies going past so in slow motion i think that'll look really cool definitely and those elephants were just the most incredible way to end the day yeah. the last one is literally just heading off into the distance at the moment and when we drove up to the brow of that hill and they were 
right on top with the amazing sky, like blue tones in the stormy sky and then warm so light. It was yeah. just I hope we captured incredible. that because that light was fleeting at probably 30 seconds worth of light. Almost yeah. when we stopped, it just went flat, it didn't it? It just disappeared behind the bank yeah. of cloud. Dusk turned into night and we headed back to base. What an amazing first day we've had in El Karama. We're so excited to see what adventures the next few days will bring. In the next episode of Photo Escapes, we sneak up on some hippos. One just put its head up. Find out why I'm in a bit of a mood. I'm very excited that we've got a cheetah 20 meters from the car. I'm also extremely cross. And later, I give you more information than you need. We just stopped off to have a wee behind the bush and we spotted this tortoise. And Matt ruins our tutorial on shutter speeds. For really fast shutter speed yeah. just to freeze the action. Yeah. So it's cool we've got both types. <laughs> 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 the end.